long since erased from the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be. The Umbra Witches, Dwellers of the Darkness, and the Lumen Sages, Controllers of Light. The Witches served the Demons, and the Sages served the Angels. Still, the clans respected each other and worked to ensure that the balance between them withstood the passage of time. One day, that balance was toppled, resulting in an era of strife. It began when a Lumen Sage and an Umbra Witch violated the decrees that bound them and produced a child together. The woman was imprisoned, and the man was banished, but that was only the beginning. Both clans had a law never to be broken that stated the intersection of light and dark will bring calamity to this earth. With the birth of this child, it appeared that old fear had become reality. Each clan possessed an eye. Together, the eyes of the world govern the power of creation. The forbidden child whom the Umbra witches cared for possessed the powers of the treasured left eye. When the two eyes are brought together, the creator Jubileus will be resurrected and a new world will be born. It is both heaven's will and order that Jubileus should become incarnate once more. Being on the side of heaven, the sages desired that this should come to pass, but the witches were against them, resulting in a conflict over the treasured left eye. The conflict escalated until it became a full-blown war between angels and demons, with a myriad of battles fueled by ambition and desire. In the end, it led to their mutual destruction, and the truth of their existence slipped into obscurity. The forbidden child grew up to become a witch, but she was hidden away and sealed in a secret place. 500 years later, the witch who hunts angels has returned. I am the way into the city of woe. I am the way to a forsaken people. I am the way into eternal sorrow. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. I am the way into the city of woe. I am the way to a forsaken people. I am the way into eternal sorrow. Abandon all hope, O ye who dare to enter here.
show the world what you really are, you witch. Naughty, naughty. Just look at what you've done to my outfit. Very cheeky. Don't interrupt a man at his music. Besides, I ain't the partner you came here to dance with. <laughs> Still, you gave a wonderful performance, Rodan. Any time, Bayonetta. By the way, is the new knight you promised me ready? Yeah. Like it or not, it's ready when you are. Enter the Elfin Knight. Not a bad name, if I say so myself. The fun's just getting started. Damn it, it's not even paid off yet! talking about. The Creator will return soon. Sorry, still no clue. Oh, oh man, I must be going crazy. I don't think you've met my infernal partner. He's telling me that he feels a bit peckish. I believe he'd be quite satisfied if he made a meal out of you. What do you think?
There's a good boy. Dinner time, my sweet. <laughs> I almost forgot. There's another reason I'm letting him devour you. I really like to watch. I enjoy your face distorted with pain. Transform the world into what it should be. That's more like it. I'm all hot and bothered. <laughs> so exciting. Glory be to the Creator Jubilee! That was quite a show you put on. So how about it? Do you like the night? Not bad. It's a cheap toy, but it should do for a while. Guess it's time to open the bar. See you there. If I can be bothered. I'll fix you a mysterious destiny with one olive. I thought I saw a mouse, but it was actually my little Cheshire. The name is Luca, and you'd better start remembering it. What do you want? Naughty boys who stalk the ladies never get the girl. I'm not worried. I'm pretty easy on the eyes. Just ask Claire, Trish, Sylvia, and Ami. They're all crazy about me. <laughs> My, so many lady friends. I'm impressed. Still, it's not nice to be a peeping Tom. Such a bad little boy. Uh, you, come on, that's professional equipment! Damn it, that camera was expensive. And then there's my car with a huge dent in it. You think I broke those things? Huh. Did everything just magically slip your mind? Again? What you did 20 years ago, I'm never going to forget that. Fleur de cire, eau de parfum. I'll always remember that smell. It's the same smell that clung to the air the day my father was murdered. The day I first saw you. the journalist and I'll expose you for what you really are Ooh, what a tease don't ever forget even when I can't see you I know where you are by your scent fleur de cire with its subtle hints of rosemary in the language of the flowers rosemary is supposed to equate to remembrance but that doesn't quite equate to you now does it I think you might need to hone your sense of smell Cheshire it's Luca there isn't any rosemary in Fleur du Cire. The herb repels demons. I wear it to ward off evil. A witch with a perfume to ward off evil. Ha ha, funny. Guess they heard all the commotion. See you, Cheshire. Bayonetta, wait! Oh, crap. Reawakening will come soon. <laughs> Good girl. 
You should go somewhere else. There are demons around here. <laughs> I'm standing here in front of the Ithavald Tower in Vigrid, sacred site of the Ragna. This year, the 500-year wait for the return of the creator Jubileus is meant to come to an end. Believers all around the world are joyously celebrating in anticipation. However, we are also continuing to receive reports of believers committing suicide in order to aid the resurrection. The latest of these came just yesterday when a head Ragna priest committed suicide with over 20 believers. In a related story, someone broke into and partially destroyed the cathedral housing their bodies. Many countries, in response to these events, have declared a state of emergency, and Ragna believers are asked to remain calm. The supreme leader of the Ithaval group, who is in effect governor of this ancient sacred city, is preparing to appear in public for the first What's time. What's with these humans? Everybody's freaking out. It's pathetic. Running around offing themselves for some god no one ever heard of? But I ain't complaining. Thanks to these suicidal schmoes, I'm in business. Uh-huh. The business of overcharging poor suckers for funerals. And you weren't exactly a peach before. Hey, since I've been making money, I'm one of the good guys now. Without good-hearted souls like me to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Tell me, when you think about it, I'm providing a vital service to the community. If you're such a philanthropist, you should be donating to the church. Or at least giving me that reward you still owe me. Don't make me laugh. You enjoy killing them Halo douchebags. I hear you get all fired up. Shouldn't a thrill like that be enough? <gasps> hey, no need to get testy. You were saying? Shit, you're the one that trashed the cathedral, so how come I'm getting screwed? You really want to take every cent I earned on this thing? Come on, come me a break. My condolences, but the deal was, I see to the funeral and you get me the information I asked for. Yeah, yeah. Did anyone ever tell you that you're pretty damn bossy for someone who can't even remember her own name? Her name is Bayonetta. That's the name you gave her, Rodan. Twenty years ago, she woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. But she's still one big mystery. The only thing she remembers is that she's a witch. I mean, killing angels and offering them up to demons is great and all, but as long as she's working her ass off, she might as well make some money. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. I've just been told Mr. Balder of the Ithamal Group is about to appear for the first time. It's fair to say this multinational conglomerate's vast fortune supports the economy here in Big Red. Thus, many here are looking to Mr. Balder to handle this crisis. If he succeeds... Hey, that's the guy! I got the scoop on that big shot, so I'll give you the lowdown on him. So he's the head of all those Ragna believers. And apparently, it's the first time he's shown his face in public. This just happens to coincide with the first resurrection of Jubileus in 500 years. Rumor has it this guy's been alive since the last one. And if that's the truth, he ain't human. The Ithaval group also has some cutting-edge technology that ain't exactly in keeping with their friendly neighborhood church image. But to believers, this tech is a freaking miracle. According to my sources, this boulder guy is a descendant of the Lost Sages, ones from old stories that worship light and were enemies of witches. So basically, if my informants are correct, this guy is a modern-day sage. Let's hope he doesn't try to burn you at the stake. <laughs>